and welcome back to Cracking the Cryptic. Today is a day for gas guzzling and feasting on the brilliant but genuinely approachable Sudoku puzzles published on our Discord server on the Daily Sudoku channel by Clover, Bill Murphy and Philip Newman, the gas giants. So they create these genuinely approachable Sudokus. That's what gas stands for. I catch up with them about a month later and solve five in a go. I will read the rules have a go at the puzzles, try and qualify for the notional times which get prizes. There is one hat for a certain reasonably fast time, two hats for a faster time, and a dinosaur for a slower time, um, but a completion. So those are the notional prizes. They don't really mean much, but I think I'm on a string of... Did Miko Kisai tell me I have nine... Um, two hat times in a row. It may be even better than that. Anyway, we will have a look at those in a moment. Don't forget that on Patreon for another two weeks nearly, we have the Tennis Anyone Sudoku Hunt, mostly by Glum Hippo. It's a fabulous collection of puzzles. Um, a couple of them are not much harder than gas, quite approachable, I would say. Four of them are a bit harder, but uh, they've been getting rave reviews, lots of popularity there. Do join us on Patreon for more content including those first of the month reward hunts. And what else have we got? We've got all our apps, of course, including two gas apps as well. Check them out on the links under the video, along with our merchandise and Sven Sudoku pad, etc. So uh, the first links, however, two to each puzzle will be to these gas puzzles for today. And I am going to... Why are there two to each puzzle? Because one is a tiny URL link to our software that they've provided. Um, and the other is to an F puzzles version in case you can't use tiny URL. So we are starting with gas 761 by Clover. It's called, it's this puzzle on the screen called half correct quadruple. Quadruple? Where do you put the stress in that? Quadruple. I try to avoid writing the date on my gas puzzles, says Clover, in abbreviated mm slash dd slash yy form, because getting teased by Europeans feigning confusion isn't my favourite way to start the morning. Smiley face. That's uh, quite good fun. But today is 7-7. That's when this was published, the 7th of the 7th. The perfect day to post a half-correct quadruples gas with an extra-long title, squeeze the date in, and still make everybody happy. Side note, today's gas uses a Sudoku variant that appears in this weekend, that will have been four weekends ago, round of the Sudoku Grand Prix. Ah, yes, the Sudoku Grand Prix, again, I think it's the last round that has appeared this week, and I have done the puzzles partly because I was suddenly told that it would act as the UK Sudoku team's online competition from which the top two will go forward to the national team. Anyway, usual bonus hat offers apply. Please see pinned posts for details. Right, you would need to... Uh, I mean, that was all about last month's Sudoku Grand Prix round anyway. Normal Sudoku... If you are interested in the Sudoku Grand Prix, just put in Sudoku GP into Google and look it up. Normal Sudoku rules apply. The grid contains some white circles, each of which contains four different digits. For each of these circles, exactly two of the four indicated digits appear somewhere in the four cells surrounding the circle. The other two digits don't appear anywhere in those four cells. My goodness, I don't remember this variant, so I must not have done last month's Sudoku Grand Prix round. I didn't even know I hadn't. Maybe I did know I hadn't. I don't know. Anyway, the dinosaur, if you don't get the hat times today, is a disambiguated Dislocosaurus. I don't think I've ever used that rule set before, so... And it, it frankly feels a bit scary, but there's quite a few different given digits in the grid. Um, right, Bill says, Howdy, y'all. The next round of the Sudoku World Cup is up, with the Italians offering a delightful range of puzzles. That, I mean, this must be, again, the Sudoku Grand Prix rather than the World Cup, unless that's a competition I don't even know about. The instruction booklet is out, and the bonus offer stands. One hat for attempting a puzzle, one hat for completing the booklet. The half-correct quadruples puzzle from yesterday is one of the rule sets from it. So... What Bill is calling the Sudoku World Cup, I know is the Sudoku Grand Prix, unless that has changed its name. 
I'm calling them half rupees and no one can stop me. Has anyone ever given you a bit of advice, continues Bill, that you've taken to heart? I'm not talking about the classic proverbs like too many cooks spoil the broth, better late than never, easy come, easy go, etc. I'm talking like real life advice. My grandfather once told me, beware the p-plater, the p-plater, in the white Commodore. That one's for my Australian homies. And my mum once told me, don't date someone who doesn't have a butt. Sound off in the comments if you've got a memory like that. Okay, those are strange life advice memories. Today's gas is a between lines Sudoku. Normal Sudoku rules apply. That means one to nine in every row, column and box in case I didn't mention it before. Digits on lines connecting circles must lie um, between the circle digits numerically. So that too is between those two digits in terms of numbers. The dinosaur is an analogous Ardonyx, which must be the first dinosaur in the phone book, as it begins with double A. Then we go on to Philip's Amongst Our Variant Tree. Nobody expects Philip posting early, jarring chord. Da -da -da -da. Amongst today's gas variants, this is a reference to the Monty Python sketch, which I love about uh, the Spanish Inquisition. Uh, amongst today's gas variants are killer Renban Sudoku. Normal Sudoku rules apply. Digits in cages can't repeat and must sum to the total given. Digits along a purple Renban line must form a non-repeating consecutive set in any order. For example, a four-cell Renban line could be 4352, but not 5679 or 2312. The dinosaur on this one is an expected Elal Titan. And... Oh, sorry about my... Things being left up. The next puzzle is Caterpillars, Clover's second puzzle of this set. Today's Entropic Line Stroke Crop Key Pairs gas celebrates the processionary caterpillar, a little fella who always travels nose to tail with his friends for safety. He's also responsible for most of the damage done by pests to coniferous trees in parts of Europe, but hey, nobody's perfect. Normal Sudoku rules apply. Along each line, every set of three contiguous digits includes one low, that's one, two, or three, one medium, four, five, or six, and one high, seven, eight, or nine digit. Note that this causes digits along each line to alternate in a pattern such as low, high, medium, low, high, medium, low, high, medium, for instance. Digits separated by a white dot are consecutive. Digits separated by a black dot are in a one to two ratio. Not all possible dots are necessarily given. And the final puzzle of this set is Relative Fiction by Bill. Hi, says Bill. I'm at Pub Trivia tonight, so here's a trivia question for you. A bonus hat if you can find the fake Australian town in this list of Australian towns. Now, I'm going to read out all nine Australian towns, only one of which is fake. Useless Loop, Prominent Knob, with no K, Foul Bay, Woolloomooloo, Yan Ying, Banana, Come by Chance, Greg Greg, and Dead Cat Gully. Well, it's a one in nine shot, although I think Willamaloo is definitely genuine, so I'm going to call it one in eight. And if that's the fake, I've really been fooled. But I am going to guess that... I see, I'm very tempted to say prominent nor... No, I'm going to guess that Yan Ying is the fake. I don't know why. Today's gas is a little killer Sudoku. Normal Sudoku rules apply. Clues outside the grid give the sum of cells along the indicated diagonal. The dinosaur is an Australian Orcasaurus. And if I don't find out, maybe it'll be in the solution box if we get this right. I think that's the only way I'm going to find out the answer to that Australian trivia question. Anyway, uh, fascinating. Let's have a look at Half Correct Quadruple by Clover. And, uh, well, good luck, Australia. I've got your match with Denmark paused on my TV at the moment in the Women's World Cup. Anyway, let us... Um, well, good luck, Denmark. I'm half Danish, so more good luck to Denmark than Australia, maybe. Anyway, let's have a look at these puzzles. Uh, I'm going to restart my clock each time, let you know what my time is at the end. I will also check how that has done in terms of the two-hat or the one-hat times. Let's get cracking. Okay, so half of these are right. So three and four are in this section. Four there, three there. That means five and six are in this group. Five there and six there. Okay, that is a nice friendly start in box one, as is so often the case with our clover. Now, here there's no four. 
That's much harder to use. Let's go to box nine and see if I can do symmetry. Yes, no, yes. Two and four must be in this group. So four is there and two is one of those. Not quite so helpful. But now five and six must be in this group and I can place six and I can place five. Everything else is two, seven or eight in the box. I'm a bit stuck after that. Right, okay, let's do the other corner boxes. Yes, this one first. Six and seven must be on this. Six there, don't know where seven is. That means one and two are on this one, and I do know where they both go. Seven, three, and nine are the remaining digits in the box. Oh, that's a nine, so we can fill them all in. Seven and three, that's going to sort out the rest of box nine. I think I'm okay there. Right, four and five on this um, white clue, one and two on this one, then there's just a seven and nine to put in, and all these corner boxes are done. Now, a lot of the rest of this puzzle could just be Sudoku if we get lucky. One, three, seven, two, four, nine there. Uh, I don't think I'm going to get lucky in that way. 7418. I'm just going to fill in all the candidates because that's going to help me visualize things, I imagine. 349. 569. We can take out the 5. Actually, I could take out the 3 from there. 581296. 34718 there. Ah, oh, I can place 8 and 4 in this column. That's where I should have started. Now, 256 here. There is something interesting going on there, and 159 here. So this 1, 2, 3, 4 has got a 3. It's going to have to have the 2 on it. So that's not a 2. This can't have 8 on it. Oh, I haven't even marked 7, because I've got this set of digits wrong. 2, 6, 7. Right, that still has to have 2 on it. Now... This I don't know. It's got two of seven, five, six. That's not easy. Right. This one needs... Ah, it can't have three or four. So it's got a two and it's got a one, which means one's in one of those two cells. This one can't have two or eight, so it must have three and four. And that is very helpful. Because that is going to look across, surely, and do something. Not much. That can't be a 2. So the 2 in this column is here. Now, this has now got 6 and 7, so it can't have 5 on, because the count is exactly 2. Right, 7, 1, 5. I think we have navigated that as well as I can. Now, I'm going to have to do the same sort of thing in... Right, let's try here. Not so easy there. Here can't have 8 on. I don't know. Let's try at the top instead then. What about this one? It can't have an 8 on it. I don't know. I don't find... Oh, this one can only have 1 and 3 on. That's the only way it can fulfill two of those. Okay. That's where we should have been. Um, this 7... It's not doing much down there. Oh, no, we can't have three and four on this, or we'd have three of them. So we must have seven on it. And this can't be a one, or there'd be three again. Oh, that was being more helpful than I understood. This one. It's got the seven and it's got six or nine there. This has to be five to not be one of the given digits. Right, eight is looking up to the top. Now, I uh, don't know with that. Eight, seven, five. That's not eight and that's not eight. That's eight. Can't break. Oh, th yes, three one is done. Nine one is done now. That's not a nine. Okay, so looking down this column, I can finish column five. Uh, they don't have a two on. Now, this thing, it's got two. It needs one more. That's a four. There we go. Okay, that's going to help a lot. Six, nine, three, four. Now I must be just finishing off. Seven, two, seven, six, six, five. 
5 minutes 19 for that. Let's have a look at the time. Um, the two hat time for that puzzle was seven and a half minutes, so I'm inside the time. Let's go to Between the Bars by Bill. Okay, so I'm going to restart the clock. This is a Between Lines puzzle. Let's get cracking. Right, this first dumbbell is easy. One and nine have to be there. Now, what can this be? I don't know. It's not so obvious. Let's see if there's any other two eights. There aren't. Right, so that's all I get as a start. Uh, five is there in the top row. This is three, four, six, or seven. Well, it can't be three or four, which are between. So that's six or seven, and that's a one. One of these has to be a nine. Oh, there has to be a one on this dumbbell and on this one. So that is circling around the grid. Okay, nice. Now, this is seven, eight, or nine, but there's a seven in, in fact, seven by Sudoku. There was a seven in the box. Seven by Sudoku puts seven in the corner. Nobody puts seven in the corner. Six there. Um, there's a nine on this dumbbell, and that is one or three. There's a nine on this one. Now I'm going backwards. Go clockwise with the nines. Nine there. This can't be high higher than seven, so that has to be. So that's an eight. That's changed things up a bit. Oh, that can't be a nine looking across the grid. So the nine on that one is there. This is now a one four pair. In fact, the four was a naked single. That is six and two. Still don't know what that digit is. That's just any low digit. Um, one, five, eight. Five, two, eight, seven, six has to be in one of those cells and one of these. I'm going to pencil mark it. I don't think it's necessarily the way to solve puzzle. Five in box one is there. These are, f well, that is from one, three, or seven. No idea if that's going to be the high or low digit in its sequence. Five, four, eight, nine. This is one, three, or six. It's not one, it's three or six. Oh, so that's a triple somehow. So one and nine in this box have to be here and here. If I've got my pencil marking right. Yeah, I think that is right. Okay, so that one looks across at a three there. That looks back at a six there. That becomes a six. This is a seven. Now we've got two, three, and four. Hmm, I don't know which way round they go. That is either the highest or lowest of those. And that's going to dictate what that one is. That's weird. Uh, one, seven, six to place. Yeah, I don't know. I can't, I can't finish that. This is the lowest in the column. Yeah, where does two go in this column? It's got to be here. That's the way to look at that cell. Now this is three, five, or eight. Two, seven, three, nine, six. That's a one by Sudoku in this box. That's a five. This is a four, eight pair. Oh, I can do them. Eight and four. Okay. Now that one is looking up here. Seven there. So this must be the low digit two. Six and one are done. Now, looking down here, I've got five and six. The circle doesn't help with those. Seven and four there. Two, three, and nine here. We've got to put nine in the circle. The others fill in. Two, seven, one. Eight is looking into the corner. That's a nine. Three, five, eight in this box. And then these are four, six, nine. I'm going to do these first. Oh, they're no help. Three and seven. I'm going to do something else first. This is a naked six. It sees all the other digits. That is three or eight. Six, seven, seven, nine, one, two. That is four or five. Two, seven, nine, one, six. Oh, I've got to tackle this now. I don't know whether this is high or low. Four, six, or nine. And this is three, five, or eight. And the digits I have to put in this row are three, four, five, six, eight, nine. 
I don't know how to do oh eight has to appear no I'm gonna have to do these middle things that's really annoying I hope to put them off um, where no yes where's nine in this column it can't be on the line so it must be there so that's three four or eight um, one eight well there must be a three being used between those oh that can't be a three right this is a three five eight quad triple so that's a four now yes it is this is six or nine and is higher. This has to be lower. There we go. If that was all correct, and I'm not 100% sure, it felt like it wasn't quite coming in the right way, um, then we're okay. This must be six with nine on the circle. This is five and seven. That's finally going to sort out my three pairs. Two and one here. I don't feel I've covered myself in glory on the time on this puzzle. But I am nonetheless finishing it, and that's something to be happy with. That's an eight. There we go. That is correct. Ooh, the time is five minutes, 59 seconds, and the two hat time was seven and a half minutes. So I was okay for the time. I was a bit scared. It might have been six minutes there. Okay. Amongst our variant tree, our killer... Renban, classic, classic killer and Renban are amongst our variant. Right, I'll start again. Let's get cracking. Um, nine, eight, six up here, but the purple Renban says that's nine and eight. So we get a six there. This must be a two, three, four to add up to nine. Oh, of course, every time we're in a three cell cage with a Renban fully occupying it, the middle of those digits is a third of the number in the killer. That's brilliant. Well, it's nice to spot it anyway. Two, three, four there at the top make that a five. Okay, these are one and seven, but if I put a one here, that would only add up to three and we'd need a 13. So that's a seven. That's a one. This is an eight because it can't be a six and that's a one. The eight places nine and eight. Uh, right, in this one, I think that's going to have to be 9-8, because if it was anything lower than 7-6-5-4, we wouldn't get to the total, so that's definitely right. 9-8-1, this is a 2-3 pair, it's a little less helpful. This is a 3-4-5 triple, and this is a 4 five. oh, this whole square around here, I can apply this averaging trick to, again, 6-7-8, now, that's going to... Sort out a lot of the digits. Five, six, seven, four. That's a five, six pair. That's three. There's a six at the top of the grid doing that. Um, and indeed, the sixes up the grid fix all of those. So that's now a one, nine pair. That's a two, three pair. This is a one, two, four cage making seven. That is nine or three. It can't be nine because of the Renban and the killer. It's a three having a party in the corner with a two. Um, there's a nine. We get one and nine there. The two sorts out three and two. The two is also sorted out one and two in the bottom row. Two, nine, five, six, seven. Now let's look up this column. One, seven, eight, nine. So these are big. They have to be a seven, eight pair in that combo and in the cage. Um, and then in this column, I don't think it's as straightforward. Yes, it is. Where does one go? It seems to have to go there. So that's a two, three pair. We know the order. That's a nine. That's a two. There's a six, seven pair down here sorting out eight and seven. Now this is going to have to be a one, two pair because it can't be a nine, eight pair. And everything is getting finished. Eight, three, six, go across to two, four, seven. I can fill them in. That's nice. Four, five pair there. I can do the two, three. That takes me across to four, three. That takes me back to four, five. That takes me across to six, five. We get four in the corner. Uh, one, two here. Five, four. Oh, two, three is done. If I can type the right digit. 
176 in this row, yes. This is going to be quite a good time, I reckon. Without sparing a glance at the clock. That's my belief. 5 and 6 down here. Um, what are these? 3 and 4. They are done. Right, that does... We can just do ascending sequences. That does 4, 5, 6, 5, 6, 7, and then 8, 7. And a time of three and a half minutes for the only Philip puzzle today. Hurrah! Um, and uh, the the two hat time was six minutes fifty seven seconds. Why so strange? Well, it's a Ren band six five seven. Um, very nice, Philip. Very amusing. Excellent. Right. So we go on to and the two the one hat time used four other digits in a sequence. Um, anyway, there we go, it was 13 minutes 24. Right, gonna have a go at this Caterpillars. Now this is the entropic line set, isn't it? So one high digit, one medium digit, and one low digit in each set of three along each line. Okay, let's get cracking. So, three can't be neighbouring two, because that would break the rule, so it's neighbouring four. Six can't be neighbouring five. Seven can't be neighbouring eight. Four can't be neighbouring five. Oh, two isn't neighbouring anything. Right, um, what about these? That could be eight, or it could be two. That has to be three. This can't be won by the rule. And that doesn't get a black dot. Okay, so it's a start. Now we need a high digit here. It's fascinating that this unwinds, especially in the middle columns. Oh, I'm desperately searching. Oh, for, a, for a, a general way to do it, a two has to be there, has to be spaced three away from that for the sequencing effect. That is a, me a middling digit. Yes, okay, so one is there. Right, that's how to do it. So that's a seven, eight, nine triple, where we can't have eight there. This is how to do it. So six, five, and four are the middling digits. Three, one, and two are the central ones. Seven, eight, nine are the high. Sorry, three, one, two are the low ones. Seven, eight, nine are the high ones. Right, six, five, and four. Then seven, eight, and nine. And the others are one, two, three. And I can do those. Four goes with five and six. Um, now. Oh, that five has made this a four. That makes this a five. I don't think I can do that cell yet, annoyingly. Six, though, goes with five and four. Seven goes with eight and nine. The others are one, three, and two. That's a three. And those two... Oh, no, that's a one, and that's a two. Now, in this top row, we know the full sequencing. Three, four, and high. Seven, eight, nine... In these cells, that one can't be an eight. Four, five, six up the middle. We can do that now. One, two, three. Yes, I can do that. That can't be an eight. Right, so the high digits are done in this box. Just trying to feed those across as well. That is a naked two. Four, five pair there. Looking at that cell. Bouncing back to themselves. Seven and eight. That has to be eight now because of the black dot. That's seven, nine. It's fascinating how this unwinds. It's fascinating that the grid works. This can't be three. That's got to be high. So there we go. Seven and nine are the high digits. Five and six are the mediums. One and three are the low ones. And down here, that's a one. We've got five four and six on the right side, seven, eight and nine up the middle, that's become an eight, that's a seven, nine, eight pair at the top, that's a nine, seven to complete the column, nine, seven, two there, that's okay, three and one, nine and seven, 
And just one row left to finish a whole bunch of eye wings. Uh, six and three. There we go. So once you get used to that alternating pattern idea, that puzzle is very, very approachable. Almost vas. Anyway, uh, what was my time? About three minutes 40 or four minutes 30 or something. The two hat time was six and a half minutes. So we're okay on that one as well. And then there's just one to do in this set. Relative Fiction by Bill. Did I read this out? Digits along an indicated diagonal must sum to the given total. Little killer, it's called. So, let's have a go. Um, no one cell clues. Those add up to 12. Don't seem to be any instant giveaways, Bill. Those cells add up to 27. Is it the 29? No, that's not a giveaway either. 31 might be. Three nines are 27, plus the four is 31. That is the giveaway clue, but it's a bit harder to spot than usual. Maybe this, yes, three ones to go with the six there. Thank you, Symmetry. That's a two four pair. This slot adds up to 19. Nine plus seven plus three. Since it can only have one even digit maximum, then it, therefore it can't have any. I think that has to be 973, and that is a 58 pair in the rest of the box. Now, these add up to 12. They're not 93 or 48, they're 75. These ones add up to 12. They could include an 8, but nothing higher. I think they have to be 831. Yeah. And this is a 2-6 pair. Right, can I do this 12 now? It doesn't have a 5 in it. It's either 9-3 or 4-8 and in a specific orientation. What about this 29? Right, none of those digits can be 9s. 3-8 is 24, plus the 5 is 29. Wow, that's how to do it. So, these are probably, well they're from 7-6-4-2-1 which add up to 20, and the two I can take out that add up to 5 are 4, 1. So that's a 7, 6, 2 set. I can then put in 4 and 1. That 4 sorts out to 4. That's a 9, because it sees 3 and 7. Um, I need to look at this still. Oh, the 13 can't have any 1s in it now, so that's all 2s. This is now not 2, 6, or 7, 1, it's 3, 5. This must have a 1 in it, it must be 1, 4, 6 now. And I know the order now, 8 and 9 in the other cells. I suspect that's going to make me able to finish off all of these corner boxes by Sudoku now. 8, 3, 1. Um, this sees... No, that sees six in both directions. That sees a seven in one. That sees two in both. That wasn't the place to go. The place to go is here. Seven and three. Five in the corner. Eight there. And that's become a two. And that's six. And that's seven. There we go. So then there's the perimeters to complete with single digits in each one. Now... We've used all the clues, so the rest is classic. That's a two and a one, three pair. Uh, three, four, eight down here, so I can do the four. Five, seven, six here, yep, they're write-ins now. I bet this one is now four, five, six, like that. That's a five with a three, eight pair beneath it. This is four, seven, and six. That's two, five, and seven. I can do the five. This is three, four, and nine. I can do the four. Let's keep worrying away at it like this. Look at this again, four, seven, six. No! So this is now six, nine. I can do that, right. That gives me the three, nine pair. That gives me the three, eight pair. Uh, four. Is there in the central box. Eight is there. Two and one are done. Oh, let's go and do seven, two first. 
and then we can go six, seven, four, and columns four and five to finish off. And then we're done with these gas puzzles, three and eight there. Four and a half minutes, the two hat time was nine and a half minutes. So that was the hardest, theoretically, given testing and setting of this set, which I didn't particularly find, but, but it was useful to spot these minima and maxima things and then see the effect on the other side of the grid. That was very interesting. Um, nice puzzles, those, as usual. Oh, did I didn't notice. Did we get an answer? No. I thought Bill might have used the message answer to tell us the correct answer to uh, the Australian trivia question, but no, no doubt somebody will in the comments. Thank you for watching, as usual. That is today's gas video. Genuinely approachable Sudoku. Great fun with it. Ten hats for me. Um, I'm not claiming any on the Sudoku Grand Prix last month because I obviously didn't attempt it because I'd never seen that half quadruples rule. And we'll be back with you for more gas in five days, probably, but more Sudoku tomorrow, definitely. See you then. Bye for now.